Good evening, folks. I'm going to come and share with you one of the projects that I have, the many Christmas projects I've been working on. Um, my stepmom saw one of my loaded envelopes and fell in love with them and had asked if, um, just kind of gave me a special order to make one for her boss's wife at work for Christmas. I guess they go to her house every year. And I said, oh, absolutely. So what I did was I went downstairs and handed her all these paper pads and said, I have this one, the blue one, the cranberry one, um, and let me know which one you'd like. And she picked the one I just showed you, which was the red and white uh, Christmas Noel Rouge um, at Blanc is what I believe it's called. Yes. Um, beautiful paper. This is how I do my Christmas is these three colors, silver, um, white, and hints of red. So this was a lot of fun. And of course, I added some extra goodies to this. And I love how I make mine into wall hangings so that they are a usable piece of art as well as, um, you know, just, just beautiful decoration for Christmas. So um, first I will show you the ornaments I've been making. I have been using the, te I watched another gal on YouTube do these, um, but I have been actually buying the clear ball ornaments from Dollar Tree and taking my fuse tool, folks, and going down the seams. So it's the same as the ones at Michael's. The Michael's ones, this size are $1.19 for one ornament because they're in half. So technically you could do two, but for a dollar this size, you can get two ornaments from Dollar Tree, which means you can actually make four. So this is what I have created. I really like this. I have that die cut and I just used a doily. And this is that, um, the uh, shiny paper, the poster board from Dollar Tree as well, which is perfect for this. And of course, you know, some shaker elements in there. And this is from that paper as well. So it's just really pretty. And then that pretty little ribbon, sticky ribbon trim. So of course she gets an ornament that hangs off of her loaded envelope. And, um, and of course I made some paper clip embellishments, these little planner clips, which I've made quite a few. So I will pull them all out. Aren't these so cute? I love these. And if you hear crinkle crinkle, it's because my fur child is getting into stuff. So these were made with that, those confetti from, um, two things of confetti from Walmart. So you get those table scatter and the table scatter. And I just added pearls and those adorable. And of course this is from the paper and I have these bows and they're actually like these plastic bow ornaments. And I just thought that'd be a cute planner clip. And then of course this one, which also is the bow from Dollar Tree. Super cute. You know, I just glue it right on. And I also created, of course, a rosette onto a uh, straw with some bells. And I used the vellum here. Um, I just love that vellum. It's so pretty. And then this was a snowflake die. So isn't that really pretty? I think I still need to put a pearl in the center of that. I forgot. But I will do that before I forget. Um, and so, of course, just like all my other loaded envelopes, I, um, I created tags out of the paper, of course, so that the recipient who gets this will be able to use these tags. Aren't these just cute? I mean, of course, these were the easy ones because they were cut out of the paper, but, you know, super easy. I just thought they were super pretty. And, of course, I stamped to and from on the back, and I love this little stamp that I used. So, And I used some red seam binding, Christmas red seam binding, my favorite. And then in here also I created... Um, wine tags and I'm trying to kind of bring them back. I've seen them on YouTube. I've seen them on Pinterest, but I haven't really seen a lot of people use them and people really like them. And you know, they're really not, you just don't, can't find them to buy them most times. So I was making wine tags out of, of course, the vellum, some more of that trim, some more of the bling and making some bows, just very plain. They don't say anything, but I love the ones with the jingle bells, obviously. Isn't that just cute? And then, of course, I made this one. Sorry, folks, I'm a little tired. But I'm excited to get to go see my 89-year-old Gma this Saturday. Oh, these are just so cute. So, of course, I made it, you know, a pocket. And then this is actually not a, a second. I meant to make this an extra pocket, but I did not because I wanted to actually give it some space here. That's why there's a gap. But that is a okay. So then back here for her bosses, um, I just took some of those cut aparts and created just five Christmas cards with envelopes that she can also reuse. 
And then there's the basic envelope. Just very plain. I think just the embellishments are what makes it so pretty. And then, of course, the back. I also created a card for my stepmom to gift to her. And that's kind of what the card on the front looks like. And I hand glued all these little sequins. This is that beautiful vellum. Art glitter glue, I'm going to tell you right now, with this vellum. I don't know about all vellum, but this vellum, you cannot see my glue anywhere. I just, it blows my mind. Um, and so then I created a little easel card that just says happy holidays. You can see the glue, just one little spot there, but most you can't. So isn't that just pretty? It's all shiny and pretty. And that is the card that I created for her to give to her um, boss's life. So that is my loaded envelope, folks. I just wanted to share it with you uh, before I go and bring it um to my stepmom. I wanted to get it done so I could really start focusing on my other projects, of course, because I have so much other stuff going on. Um, but thank you for coming and watching today, folks. This was a lot of fun for me. I really do love making the loaded envelopes and I love making them useful um, with things that are already made that you can just pull out and use right away. So thanks for coming, folks, and I hope you all have a great day.